Hello friends, hola a todos, ¿cómo están? Welcome to my channel. Here is finally the tutorial of this beautiful Easter lamb and two more ideas for Easter. Aquí les comparto el tutorial de este bonito conejito que uso utilizando balls del Dollar Tree. So, it's almost the same process that I made for the Valentine eh, bear. And the snowman, if you remember, I did already two projects using these bowls, okay? For this project, we are using four of these big bowls, plastic bowls from Dollar Tree, and two uh, small bowls, okay? Vamos a pegar eh, los bowls con hot glue. Yo primero los pego antes de colocarle la, eh, las luces. So, before you add the lights, the battery lights, glue it. Or you can do the holes before you glue it. This is optional, okay? This is how I made. I glue the four balls. Uh, I am using hot Gorilla Glue. Works good on this material. So, I had my snowmans for almost two years. And they are still very good, very good with this hot glue. Van a pegarlo bien, yo le puse una capita, después le aseguro un poquito más eh, y ya está. After that, we are going to use this cute Easter egg because I need something to hold the ears, ok? So I am using the Easter egg just to support and prevent to the eh, ears don't fail, right? Voy a colocar estos huevitos de Easter para apoyar las orejitas. This kind of ball are going to simulate the ears, so eh, just glue it. You are going to need a lot of hot glue for this part, but this works perfectly, so just find a way to keep the ears up, ok? Van a eh, ponerle bastante hot glue, dejar que se enfríe un poco. Ahí estoy yo un poquito batallando, pero sí se puede, ok? Le puse los huevitos a los costados para mantenerlos más y tener más puntos de apoyo para pegar. And then, I have the flower from Dollar Tree and you can start to decorate your bunny. Yes, you can spray paint all the bunny, but it's optional, ok? Some people like like that. I prefer clear ball because I like how this looks during the night. Um, that's it. And oh, you can make the holes. This is my tool that I use to make the, the holes. Eh, voy a utilizar dos este, luces de baterías que son del Dollar Tree. So eh, just add the lights, the battery lights, and I glue the battery. Eh, In the back, right? Voy a pegar la batería en la parte de atrás. Super easy. Look how this look. And I like it. So I use a acrylic paint to paint pink the ears. And that's it. I also use puffy paint for the eyes and the nose. And I add a ribbon. So it looks so cute. I love it. My daughter is in love with this, this one. So the next project is this cute stand. Super easy to make, super easy. I love it because it's very cute. It's a little carrot. And for this project, we are going to use these uh, wallpapers. O no sé cómo se llamen estos papeles que son del Dollar Tree, son para pared. Así que vamos a utilizar uno de estos papeles. And las zanahorias, estas zanahorias. Habían conejitos también, pero me las perdí. Uh, no agarré los conejitos. They had uh, bunnies and Carrot, so I love this material because it's very good shape. And we are using those mini blocks from Dollar Tree. You can also uh, use a other kind of paper, but I like this one. So, pueden también marcar todo el borde de la zanahoria si les es más fácil. I just peel the paper and voy a utilizar una de estas lijas para remover el papel. Y como les digo, pueden solo delinearlo y pegarlo, ¿ok? Más fácil, creo yo. And that's it. You can add and glue it the, the little eh, eh, pieces of wood. 
like you see there. So I hope you enjoy this project. It's super, super cute. You can also put this in your bathroom and add a, a little plate with soap. And so cute for Easter. Oh, you can do this with your kids and give like a present for some, someone else, right? So this is the second project. And this candle holder I made in an um, other project. So this is the third project. This cute uh, little chicken <laughs> read. This is so cute. Oh my God. Finally, I went a different uh, Dollar Tree and I found this kit for Ritz, the Dollar Tree half for Easter, the bunnies and the chick. I thought this one is very adorable. Me encantaron los dos. Agarré de los dos para tener. Así que eh, decidí llevar algunos. Y también en la misma tienda encontré el de Comesh amarillo, que me encantó. Es muy brillante. This deco mesh is perfect for this wreath, so I picked three of these because these are very small, so I'm going to need three. And then do the same process, right? I have this wreath. You can also use the wire wreath that, for, that is from Dollar Tree. So I have this one that I'm going to use this one, so this is optional. This es optional. Ustedes pueden utilizar las otras coronas que son solo de, de metal. And this is a very different uh, uh, bow that I'm going to make. Just cut the pieces of uh, ribbon and uh, attach together to the reed. Y no se olviden de cortar los finales para que se vea más bonito. I also add uh, roses for this reed. So simple and cute, right? And then glue it the, the little chicken head. It came with a little uh, ribbon so you can attach the reed to the uh, the head to the reed. So I glue it and then you can uh, add the other part of the chicken, right? Ahí está mi hijita jugando atrás. Ella siempre se la pasa jugando y como le digo que no aparezca en la... En el video se agachaba, se arrastraba. Oh, Dios mío. Bueno, pues es mejor que esté con la mamá que esté con otras personas, ¿verdad? Así que aquí la tengo. This is a final result. Super simple and cute. I love it. So, I hope you enjoyed these three projects that I'm sharing with you. Don't forget to like, to comment. That helps me so much with my videos. Uh, let me know in the comment what do you think. If you have any question, I am here to answer and more videos are coming and more ideas. I am working on more ideas for Mother's Day and for summer. Okay, have a nice weekend. See you soon with more projects. Bye-bye, friends. Bye.